Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Daisy DIY. Today I'm sharing an easy modern farmhouse DIY using items from Dollar Tree. If you want to see a step by step, please keep watching. This video is a part of the monthly DIY challenge hosted by the amazing Sonia from Domestic Diva. I will leave the link of her channel below. I hope you enjoy and stay tuned to watch all the playlists. Thank you so much. This is the item that we're going to need for this project. We're going to need six crafter square wood planes. They're from Dollar Tree and you're just going to need one package. Also, we're going to need four paint sticks. I got them from Amazon. And we're going to need four wooden dowels. I got it from Dollar Tree as well. So now I'm just going to grab one of the painter sticks and I'm just going to put them on top of the wood planks just like this. And once I just measure it, I'm just going to mark it with my pencil. And once I mark it with my pencil, I'm just going to grab the other one as a template and I'm just going to use my saw to cut it. And the next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to make the box just like this. Once I make the box, I'm just going to mark it clear to the edges. And once I just mark it, I'm just going to cut the pieces that I'm going to need for the boxes. In total, you're going to need four pieces. Second thing we're going to do, we're just going to grab the wooden dowels. They measure six inches. So I'm just going to mark it at three inches. I'm just going to cut them all with my saw. And this is how it looks once they're all cut. So now I'm going to be using this sandpaper and I just sand all the edges of the painter sticks. Also, I use all the handles from the painter stick and I just cut it in half, but I will show you the step. And now we're going to be using this Waverly Chuck paint on colored truffle. I got it from Walmart. And what I did here, I just put a little bit of paint and a little bit of water and I create this stain. I just mix it very well. And to paint the painter sticks, I'm just going to use that natural butt sponge. It's from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be painting all the painter sticks on the top, the bottom and the edges just like this. And here is the part where I show you that I use all the handles for the painter sticks. So with my ruler, I just mark it the painter stick and it just measure one inch. And what I did, once I mark it, I just cut it with my saw in half just like this. And also I paint it with the same stain. And now we're just going to put the painter stick in the top just like this. If you guys want with the ruler, you guys can measure it. For me, it was more easy to mark it with a pencil. Once I mark it, I create this line and I guide from this line to put the glue. To glue it, I'm just going to use hot glue. If you guys want a strong hole, I will recommend it to use wood glue. And now I'm going to be using this stencil. It's from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put them on the top of the painter stick just like this. So to hold the stencil, I'm going to be using this painter's tape. I got it from Dollar Tree as well. So. To paint it, I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum Chalk White Paint. It's from Amazon. And also, I'm going to be using this brush from Dollar Tree as well. And what I did, I just used a little bit of paint at a time. And once it was dry, I did a second coat.
And this is how it looks once you're done. And now we're just gonna sand the letter a little bit so they can be a little bit distressed. And to sand it, I'm just gonna use the sandpaper from Dollar Tree. And now we're just going to glue everything together and I'm just going to glue it just like this. If you guys want a strong hole, I would recommend it to use wood glue. But for video purpose, I'm just going to use hot glue. So now I'm just going to put the small pieces of the painter sticks on the side just like this. I'm going to do the same step on the other side. And now we're just gonna put the small pieces one in the top and one in the bottom and also what I did um, you guys can see the painter stick it has a curved edge from the handle so I just placed it one opposite on each side just like this I'm going to do the same step on the other side. And this is how it looks once you're done. If you guys want, you guys can be finished with this project, but I decide to do one more step. And now we're just going to use the four wooden dolls that we just have and we're just going to put them on the side just like this. To glue it, I'm just going to use hot glue. And this is how it looks once you're done with your project. So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. That will help my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much.